We can just do some games till everybody joins. Where's your dice bag? What do you want to play? While we wait for everybody to get on board. Um, I want to try. Hmm. I'm gonna try this. Well, we haven't tried a couple things, have we? That we built. This is one yeah. of them. Okay, where's the uh, Blastoise deck? Or not the Blastoise, but the Willard. That's attacking Willard. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'll try it then. Wow. Well, it don't really matter. We need to see if it sets up and works. No, try it. If you won't try it, then I'll try it. Right now, we need some place to put all these decks. Just stack them up. While we wait for everybody. The camera's doing that weird thing again. Let me fix it. Tower. There we go. That shouldn't hop up and down like that. Hey, RIQ FX. What's happening tonight? Why do I feel like that whole. I feel like this is a. Absolute terrible idea you have, Dancing Bear. No. <laughs> yeah, it is. Look, shaking the table, nothing's happening. Uh-huh. How's that Venus on right? Hey, hey, everybody who's joined us so far, we're just kind of playing a quick matchup. We built two more decks. And we're just gonna try them out, make sure they work. We actually haven't tested them. It's uh, what do I have here? Flareon, Flareon, Macargo. I'm playing Wheel Lord for standard. The new Flareon. We're just doing a couple games until enough people join, and then we're gonna do the bracket. Then we'll the do time. the bracket. But uh, we need you guys and everyone's help deciding which decks are gonna be in the tournament. Hey, Tanner. I think when we post this, we're going to put like a little marker to show. If you don't want to watch some of the games, we'll put like the times. Yeah, we can put a timestamp to when you get to the tournament or whatever. Just for y'all. Dancing Bear's playing a new uh, Waylord attacking Waylord, not Waylord stall. And I know uh, a lot of the viewers wanted Blastoise Waylord. But we We've actually think players. there's a, a better way to set it up, more efficient, faster way. So we're testing that out. You want to say who's sponsoring this? Gaming. Your answer to all your tabletop gaming needs. You want to grab the dice? Six, seven. I can grab the dice. That's pretty cool. Wait. Oh, that's awesome. What happened? Tanner pulled a Celebi Venusaur. Nice. Hold on to it. It's definitely playable. It's not a dead card. Heads or toes? It's... You didn't even roll. You went like that. No, I gave it like some massive spinning. That was the worst roll I've ever seen. It's kind of just... <laughs> All right, so I won the hit coin toss or what? No, it was tells. Oh. Yeah, definitely keep it. It's really good. And it, it's for sure going to be in the tournament. There's some decks that are for sure going to be in the tournament. But uh, 
Others, we need we need you guys to help us decide which ones. Do I play Kiawe? <laughs> that answer your question? Kiawe, Kiawe. So yeah, we're looking good here, except uh, Snorlax really doesn't do that much damage to Waylord. So I might rather Kiawe onto uh, Macargo. This deck has, uh, it's not a very linear strategy. I mean, you think most decks like uh, Ho Ho or something like that's very linear. This has uh, oh. several paths to victory. So do I. Peak Factory, we'll use it, draw three. Oh, do we finally have the English ones? Cool. Get down Victini. And then from here. We'll just Kiawe. It's your turn. Once you're done, can you move the chair so I can see the screen a little bit? Uh, I sure can. All right. Thank you. Truck turn. Nest ball. Oh, card shooting out. I would have liked to have. I don't. I don't. I don't know if I would have Kiawe onto the Snorlax or if I would have Kiawe onto a Slugma. Because I feel like uh, Macargo with uh, four energy, that's a, a nice 200. And doesn't it do a base damage of 50, right? Yep. Yep, 50 plus. That would be 250. So then attach for turn, then the Macargo can actually one shot the Wailer. So not ideal in this matchup to set up with Snorlax, but. Play the cards in the hand we're dealt, right? <laughs> Easy there, That's Hiccups. Agree. 40. Let's see here. Go energy evolution to get Flareon. Okay. There we go. Glad you put the 40 damage on. I don't think. Hmm. Have to search for four fires. I think we're gonna kill me again. We're going to fiery flint and grab four. Ooh, there goes my car goes. Yeah. So we'll put these four in my hand, and then we'll tap a wonder tag for Guzma. And we'll Guzma up the Manaphy. Okay. So Guzma up the Manaphy, and then we'll do 30, and then I can attach three to flare on. Okay. Your turn. Cynthia. Is there a water stadium that's a prism star like Heat Factory? No, there is not. But it does run Brooklyn Hill, I thought, right? Then yeah. it run three? Yeah, it does. I was just okay. wondering if they made one for water. What Zork variants do we have? We have Zork Bisharp and Zora Rock Bees. and Zork uh, Beedrill, which is for sure in the tournament. 
The Gyarados deck. Yeah, I haven't been impressed with it. But, I mean, we've only played one game with it, right? Yeah, we have. Escape rope. Yeah, I'll just give me. I'll feed you Victini. Yeah, I'm just going to take my prize. Okay. All right. Um, I think we put up Wellord in this situation. Is the GX... We put up Wellord in this situation. Yeah, or uh, Snorlax, Eevee. Is it one more energy plus the four, and I can draw to ten? Mm -hmm. You have to have five to draw ten. Okay, so draw for turn. Miss ball. Get down Slugma. We'll attach. And then I'll go ahead and Mallow. Further that. And... That. And that's draw to 10, right? Is Jolteon in the tournament? Jolteon? Yes, Jolteon will for sure be in the tournament. Absolutely. And then I'll use the Jix tech for 210, draw to 10. Seven, eight, ten. Heal 60. Okay. Feeling like. What was the deck? Um, so you're at 150. So I need 150 more. What was what? Oh, I feel like Venusaur doing this. Oh. 180. Drop the turn. Remember when 180 used to be the magic number? Yeah, those days are long gone. Evolve to my cargo nest ball. Hey, Wade. Good to see you again. I'll get down another slugma. For the new people who just joined, we're going to be doing the tournament bracket once we get a couple more people, maybe like Two more, and then at the end of this, around 10 people. I think for at 10 people, we'll start kind of the the deck selection and, and tournament uh, which decks. But we need you guys and gals to help decide which decks are going to be in the tournament. There's a few that are for sure locked in, but then there's some that aren't. So I'm scared to use his ability because uh, – there might be a certain card I need. So for now, let's. I know this is big time. Let's retreat. And then let's do. Just discard two energies. So we'll do 190, three prizes. I'm hoping to hit energy recycler. So am I. And if not, I can, I don't know. 
I need to hit energy recycler. But I have mellow too. I guess I should have mellowed. Oopsies. Or maybe I got mellow off prizes. I don't know. Oh, doing good, Wade. How are you doing tonight? Hey, James. We're just uh, killing time till uh, we're at 10 people. So after this game, we'll do our tournament 3 0. We just dropped two. Oh, we gained one. <laughs> either, way, either way, after this game, let's uh, let's start doing the tournament. Yeah. And figuring out which decks are going to be in there or not. 40. What are y'all thinking of the uh, the Waylord uh, Starmie deck? And what do you think of the uh, Flareon deck so far, guys? We just built them late last night. I know y'all are wanting to see uh, it's your turn. Blastoise powering up Waylord, but Starmie's the most efficient way. Are you out of energy, nerd? Yeah. Ouch. There's only one energy recycler system. Okay, so McCargo. Thank you. Thank you for what? What are they saying? They look cool. So I'm glad that they look cool. I feel like I need... Brooklyn Hill. Let me check for energy recycler. Okay, energy recycle system. Oh, I think I was counting on Victini to shuffle him back in. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. All right. So that kind of changes the strategy. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe I shouldn't have retreated the Snorlax. Uh oh. I would have. No, I wouldn't. Okay, so hang on. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. All right, we can't. Gosh, this is this is bad. I think this deck needs energy recycler system. I'm gonna run out of attacking options. I've got to get. I've got to hit Snorlax. So. Power up for the big one. Hit KO. Yeah. All right, so. Attach McCar or attach to McCargo. Choice ban McCargo. We will smooth over. Smooth over. And we'll put that. On top. I do agree with that. They say that the Wailord deck does seem underwhelming. Especially compared to like the Snorlax. You can't one shot it. And you got to do a lot of work just to power it up. While he was able to just turn one key all way and then start going in with Snorlax. I wish his GX. Well, it doesn't matter. But all right. So 30, and then I'll attach. I can attach up to three energy from hand, but that's the only one I have. So we've got two energies on Macargo GX. Jeez. I don't know what Poke Baby just ran into. It sounded like Poke Baby just ran into the wall. Yeah. Yeah, um, I think, gosh, the Eevees with Energy Evolution, I don't know what's set there from, but you're good? Oh, you already did the attack. Okay. Energy Sorry. Recycle, I'm going to shuffle back in three. And then I'm going to smooth over and put one on top. Three, four, five. That's 300. Smoothing over, put one on top. And then I'm going to use his ability. So 
we're at 230. No tax return. And then we're going to mallow for her, the other. Well, let me keep it secret. Well, you don't have a way to draw it. No. But so, you can put Guzman energy on top. So there we go. So there's our two cards we're mallowing for. But what if I. Jeez. Easy, cowboy. What if I use them up the Macargo? Take a knockout on it first. Maybe. Well, I could have. Uh, hang on, could I have gotten the knockout? Yeah. Star you or star me. Oh, on that? Yeah, you can get the knockout on it. Oh, no. no. Let's do. Why can you? 30. That's fine. I don't have any energy to attach. Drop turn. <clears throat> we know what the top two cards are. Blessing of the Deep. A muck deck. Ah, oh, we featured the muck deck. The one with chemical breath, was it? Mm -hmm. Didn't we? I think we made a video of it. I had to go back and look. But, yeah, it's kind of crap. <laughs> But it might be good with uh, Koga's Trap. With Koga's Trap coming out, that's going to add damage. And then um, there's something else that... Oh, I think there's some new cards in Lieutenant with uh, Dark Unison. Hey, you're not going to let me Guzma and get my energy? No. Really? Uh-uh. Man, the Guzman. Yeah, I know. That's why I scooped. <laughs> uh, the dancing bear. All right, we're at nine people. That's one. All right, let's do oh, it. now we're at ten. So. All right, let's do it, folks. We're gonna do the bracket now. Let's do it. All right, so. We'll get them all out here so everybody can see. I got the decks. So you just put out the paper. I've got the paper right here. I'm gonna write. You're just down. You come down. I need to figure out the. You write. I roll. Oh, my bad. Uh, that sounded weird. No, we're not doing that yeah, shit, nerd. What? I need to figure out uh, the numbers, but I guess it don't matter. Now we're at eleven. Even better. Jeez, a lot of decks. Actually, since you don't know how to put them out. I appreciate that, Tommy. I, I don't know if we're the best, but we try <laughs> to do something different. You know, most channels, you know, they just... Uh, PTCGO. PTCGO. Let's get a random opponent against a random deck. And I feel like, you know, that kind of gets tiresome. So we try to offer something new. So... Silly poke baby. Just comes over and knocks on the door and then Just runs away. Knock. Runs away real quick. Alright, I think we should talk about the for sure decks that are gonna be in here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hang on, let me write down here. So the number one seed. Then we'll just go. We'll keep it simple. Two, That's nice. Thank you. Three. Four. Five. Six. Don't pull a double 16. That was your fault last time, sir. Your handwriting. That can't be proven. You're not a handwriting forensic person. No, mine would look twice as worse as what you're putting down right now. True. <laughs> it could have been Pokemon, though. Her handwriting would look twice as better as yours. All right, so we got... I'm going to count up 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 25, 26. We got 26 decks. Okay, Sorry, so we got hurt. 20 spots. Six of them aren't just going to make the cut. So, for sure, uh, Venusaur and Celebi for sure get the number one seat. Winning the last tournament automatically gets you a spot. Yep. So. No questions. 
And then the second place deck. Does that say out Lost March? Cut Lost March, yeah. <laughs> it hasn't been performing well, so I kind of agree. Let's, uh, Snorlax Malamar got second. So it's our MacLean. And it's been performing really good in the tournament. It placed top four last tournament, second place last tournament. I mean, the first top tournament. four and then got second. Yeah. And somebody was asking about uh, it today. So, so that's fine. Now, the. Another says, don't cut lost no, more. No. We're going to have to do a vote we'll on that one. Yeah, we'll have to do a vote on. Uh, who wants it in now? And if it's a tie, then we'll be like the tiebreaker. I think the fan decks, the viewer decks, the subscriber decks need to go in next, right? Uh -huh. so we all agree. Everybody wants to see the new subscriber decks. Like we want to see some bees with Zork, right? Every, yeah, Zork bees was requested by the fans. So, but we have to starting. We have to roll. Because we have the number one and number two seed. So, can we <laughs> just do a bigger tournament? <laughs> well, we have... I'd have to reprint out brackets to do all these decks. All right. So, you want to roll for Lost March? No, not Lost March. Zark Bees. Oh, sorry. Zark Drill. Sorry. Lost March is, is on my mind right now. All right. All right. So... 13. 13. So Zork Bees, Zoro Bees is 13. Okay, now what's another uh, viewer deck? Someone's asking about Sylveon. So we can just talk about it right now. Oh, what's the Sylveon deck? Uh, that's something crazy. Those are supposed to be the right EVs, but it has Infernape. Infernape with the ability to uh, put and six damage counters. And Delphox. And Delphox, which lets you burn the active once per turn. And then Plea, GX, and the Cyrus Prism Star. So what you do, it's, it's crazy. Just, just bear with me while I explain. So you Magical Rimmon. <laughs> that looks crazy. It, hey, it <laughs> works. It works. There, yeah. There's some folks in the uh, chat that can uh, back me up on this. It works. It did work. So you magical ribbon until you have everything you need. And then you get Vulpix into the active and you Cyrus up three of uh, your opponent's bench Pokemon, right? Three at most. And then you kind of counter catcher up something in the active that you can kind of burn and get stuck. And then you uh, play switch to move Sylveon back into the active and you do play GX. And so you essentially bench your opponent and get the knockout on the active with the burn damage. That's pretty cool. It sounds crazy, but it actually works. All right. What's well, another deck? Another. Uh, everyone's been wanting Ultra Necrozma. Yep. That's fair enough. Ultra Necrozma. Everybody's been wanting that. Oh, I didn't roll for Sylveon. Are we doing Sylveon? Yeah, I think it deserves a spot. So Sylveon's five. Yeah. And then... He says I'm going to call that a poke dad moment. What? What's a poke dad moment? <laughs> Top tier play. Hey, it worked. It worked. Uh, then Ultra Necrozma. Ultra Necrozma. Everyone agrees. It's been heavily requested. 15. Number 15. It's on the one in your right hand. Number 15. Okay. So it's got a buy. Ultra right. Necro. Okay. Now, is there any more? Oh, Gyarados and Sogaleo. Gyarados and Sogaleo. These three. Wait, wait, the, the fan. Oh, Charizard. Charizard. We all want to see Charizard, right? And I think these two. Maybe yeah, maybe someone three. asked about Jolteon, which it's it's a top performer, so I have no problem with that. Mm -hmm. So let's do uh, let's do the Charizard, see where it's at. Oh, there's another. Are we counting this as a fan deck, the Flareon? Yeah, because I think somebody requested Flareon. Okay. So all the rest 
Oh, that's all. Well, are we counting Incineroar as a fan deck? Yeah. Viewer deck? It was asked for. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to do Flareon and go that way. So these are the last five for sure in. All right, for Flareon, number four. Number four. And we haven't seen any of these decks uh, for the most part, so. I've seen, like, a couple games with some of them, but overall. Just uh, a quick, does it work, does it not work? All right, we got one request for Pikachu and Zekrom. Yeah, we're thinking it's super popular. Everyone's always wanting to see it perform, so. Oh, is this a fam deck, too? <laughs> oh, the... The Starmie Whale attacking Wellord. I would rather. Would y'all rather see attacking Wellord or stall Wellord? In the meantime, Sogaleo can get rolled for. Y'all get back to us on that. Would you rather see attacking Wellord or stall Wellord, or both? Easy cowboy. What is wrong with you? Wild today. Nineteen. Nineteen for Sogaleo. Yep. Which I was actually impressed with that deck. One says attacking. Another says stall. I think another one says attacking, stall for sure. Attacking. Stall for sure. Stall, stall, attacking. <laughs> to stall. Could we get opinion in this? <laughs> oh, y'all are killing me. Okay, so stalls, it's good, but it, it, it could depends. be a pain to play. If as long as well, I mean, it has a chance to win as long as it dodges. It, I think form. it got lucky on the Jolteon matchup, but if it can dodge Blaziken and dodge Snorlax Malamar, then the Wailard Stall could win. There's a lot of action going on. This is Wailard. true. This is true, Burrito Boy. This is true. We did ask, so. So, so I'm both afraid. Both stall. Huh? Both stall or attacking. Double stall. We're stall. All right. Hey, it is what it is. Okay. Got to give the people what they want. It's fine. All right, Gyarados. Triple the stall. All right, so Gyarados. 14. What are you? <laughs> Why can't you just roll right here? There's not enough room. There is two. Look at this. Gyarados is 14? Game. Yeah. Okay, Charizard, everyone's favorite, the monster. I'll tell you what, I don't care where it ends up. It's probably my pick to win the whole thing. All right. Nine. Is that nine or six? Nine. Because think of all the decks it's already destroyed. Blaze Fawn, Jolteon. It, it destroyed Blaze Fawn, Jolteon, probably two of the absolute strongest. And Venusaur. And it destroyed Venusaur. I think it – didn't we go – didn't we test it against that? No, no. we tested Venusaur. We tested it against something else too, and it smashed it. Someone thinks Incineroar is bad. It's not too bad. It's a, it's actually not too bad. Uh, we built we retuned it to where it can get some one shots, so it can get some one hit co uh, KOs. Uh, before we were playing it like uh, it could absorb some damage, but it can't. Once it gets down to two twenty, a lot of stuff can one hit KO it. All right, let me roll for nine. We already have nine. Six. So we got one six and one nine. Back to back. Okay, now we're to... I think we should just go down the line. The viewer request. Okay. Do y'all want Zekrom on Pikachu? What do we play with it? I can show... I thought I posted a deck profile, but you can go through it real quick. Um, It just runs a three... One three line, it runs a two one two swampert, two two nine tails. The ditto, two yes. Um, for all the 
big tag team that's relevant. Three choice band. And then we added in the Kakui. Also, we added in two devoured fields. So it's able to get one hit KOs now. So I'm sorry. Whoops. There went those all. So everyone wants to see the tag teams. We've got a decent amount of yeses. I, I feel like everyone likes the Zekron Pikachu, right? Everyone wants to see it. It's popular. No, you're you're in time. Well, we've got a few decks picked out spicy. Two, but four, six. Better late than never. Ten out of the twenty. Ten. So you're at the halfway point there, spicy. We're trying to decide Zekrom or Pikachu into the tournament or not. I feel like it is. I feel like it shouldn't. You won't be seeing Dengar, though. That's no. not going to be coming back. What, who asked that? Well, they said... <laughs> who asked about uh, the Dengar? <laughs> All the relevant tag teams should be in. Someone said that, I do believe. Okay. But well, you're not going to be seeing Gengar. <laughs> I'm, I'm out. Gengar's dead to me, folks. It's dead. But the new uh, card that could add plus 50 oh. to it. What? I don't uh, know. That's a lot. I'm not going to try and read it from way back here. All right. I'm just going to roll for the Wait, second roll. Tag team, tag team. The, the, the problem with that is if they target down Quagsire, then the deck just falls apart. Number five. Number five for Zekron. We already have a five. Sylveon. Number one. Where we got Venusaur? Ten. Ten. Ooh, it's against Charizard. Uh oh. That's that's bad for Zekron, folks. Jolteon. What's y'all's opinion about that, it? Charizard's. That's an auto win for Charizard, folks. Yes, for Jolteon. I think once we see three yeses, I think it's going to be like for sure in the tournament. I mean, it's performed super well. It, what got second and it got top four? It did the same as Snorlax Malamar. So, yeah, it yeah, it needs to be. In yeah, it if, just definitely deserves it. It got second and fourth in our other two tournaments. Honestly, if we give that to Snormal, I think it's fair enough to give it to Drill Team. Yep. Ten. We already have ten. One. We already have one. Two. Number two. Oh. Oh, 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 it's in there with Venusaur. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Sounds like a personal problem, though. So here's the bracket, how it's shaping up so far. Can y'all see that? No. Uh, You can't see. We can move some stuff up. Like 10 and 20. There we go. You can move it up. Might be hard to kind of see. No, you can see it pretty fine. Yeah, it looks upside down. What is going on? It's backwards. It's a mirror. Remember when we were looking at the stream yesterday at okay. Dallas? This is like, this is weird. No. That's backwards too. We would have to do it like that in order for it to look right. Okay. But. This is freaky. It's not freaky. It's this just... is some freaky stuff right here, folks. We're looking at the screen and it's like all backwards. It's like it's blowing my mind here. Easily amused, I oh, guess. Oh, three, and then yeah, it's like oh three, ten and <laughs> all right. It's almost giving me a headache looking at it like that. All yeah. Right. All right. So, what? Yes. Do y'all want to see party balloon? Do y'all want to see uh, blaze spawn anymore, folks? Are we done with that? Or I mean it's arguably probably the best one of the best. For sure, top three in the format. Mm -hmm. So do we want to see it or not? Yeah, Sylveon's in the in the uh deck there scraps. The thing right. with Blaze Fawn. <laughs> All right, there's one ES. Party balloon. Okay, who else wants to see Party Balloon? There's one. If we get to three. 
Um, I think it has one ultra space. Yeah. I think it has one ultra space. The the forest is so good though. It really allows you to get full advantage. Because it gets set up because you've got the four ultra ball. You got four, yeah, it's got ultra space. It's got four ultra or, or four mysterious treasure and four ultra ball. So it gets set up. The force just like really accelerates it. Fifteen and one, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, it's fifteen and then the one beast energy, I believe. Least one no damage character. Mm. Yeah, Viridian Force is just ridiculous. So I feel like everyone wants to see Party Boom. Fine. Eight. Number eight. Forgetting the stack over here. Uh, oh, yeah. Lichen Rock Shuckle. The new Lichen Rock was Shuckle. Are we interested in seeing that some more, or oh, here, do the Wailer stall real quick while they think about that, because everyone said Wailer stall. I didn't put Wailer because on top because the other Wailer. So Wailer stall. No, no, no. What? I don't know if they're knowing the Lichen Rock or knowing the knowing the Lichen Rock Shuckle. That's a Willard cut. No, there's no stall. We have one for no stall. Mm -hmm. But earlier, everyone was saying yes, stall. I thought we got a triple stall. <laughs> there was more than triple. There was like almost everybody was saying, yeah, the stall. Because we get the choice of attacking Willard oh, or so stall. They were saying no shuckle. Oh, no to the shuckle. Okay. You're confusing them. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. We well, just switched it real quick. Well, I thought we were going to do the stall deck because everyone had voted yes on the stall. No, there says no shuckle. Okay, so no shuckle. No lichen rock, no shuckle. It's fine. All good. Do I have the sixer over there? Yes to, yes to stall. Beast, I'm only seeing you as a no to stall here. I think we gotta go well or stall. Beast is the only no. Says so that's fine. Hey, it, we agree with you. We actually agree with you there, Beast. <laughs> we would vote no to, to the stall deck too. Not like 40 minutes games for just one. Yeah. So, all right, guess we're that wrong. one took 50 minutes. Yep, five. There's already a five. There's already a five. Two. There's already a two. 16. 16. There's not a 16. Okay. All right, now Zapdos. Let them. Okay. Well, I feel like a lot of people want to do Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl, folks, we cool with that? Only a pretty, uh, yes. yes. Okay. One All yes. Right. All right. I'm with Beast. Another yes. Can we get another one, though? One more to lock it into place. Do we have another yes vote? Anybody? Anybody? Yes to Aerodactyl? We'll take a repeat. Another yes. Yes. Okay. That didn't count. Wait a minute. Whoop. 12. 12. Do we have a 12? Nope. Now we do. There's a redactyl. So, yeah. I mean. Latios. Latios. Tag team. I'd like to see if. If it can get like 11, or if it can have a chance to go against we, Ultra Necrozma. I, I haven't forgotten, folks. We are going to do Latios, Latios versus Ultra Necrozma to definitively give you an answer on which one's better. Got one, yes. So, with what engine it runs uh, Starmie? 
and the Starmie is actually really strong. A turn one Starmie and the Latios is set up for the entire game. And then a 1-1 one, one line of Inke Malamar, and that's all that's really needed in the deck. Yep. If you get the turn Second one Starmie two. or the turn two Starmie attack to where you accelerate three, it's set up for the rest of the game. And you can use the GX attack, which helps set up itself and yeah. another one. It, it's self-sustaining uh, once you get the Starmie. Two yes. We're not going to go for, like, the four Malamars like everyone was thinking. No. We don't think it's that good. That good, that generic. Bland. Another yes. We like our food spicy. Eight. Spicier the better. It's already an eight. Sixteen, there's already a sixteen. One, there's already one. Thirteen. Thirteen. There's already thirteen. Nine. Those. Five. Oh, 11. 11. We don't have, oh, it might have a chance to go against the Ultra Necrozma. If it can somehow get past Aerodactyl. Okay, so how many spots do we have left? We have two, three, four spots left. Okay, so here's the options for the four spots. Oh, there's only four left? Only four spots left. Let me switch the die real quick. So we have Zoroark... Buzzwall Ninetales, Guardi, Buzzwall Lycanroc, Ninetales, Zapdos, Zorak Bisharp, Decidui, Lost March. So four. What would be the easiest way to kind of vote for this? Would it be? Yeah, it is three of one type, but you play the Viridian Force, so you can just instantly grab the water energy. Zork Bisharp. So there's two votes for the Zork Bisharp. Wait, Chase, you want Zork Lycanroc or you want Zork Bisharp? Or Zork Ninetales? Zork Decidui Ninetales? We've got three different Zorks. Yeah, there's three different Zork build, builds. Zork Bisharp, Zapdos. We got something coming in. Okay. Smoothie from Oak Mom. All right, then it's pink. Okay, so. Is this a sign for God? Oh, really? Sorry. I'm trying to read. Read less aggressively. So Zapdos. I see a Zapdos. I see Zorak. Zapdos. Zorak. There's there's three for Zorak. Mm -mm. I think. I'm not a fan of smoothies. Okay, I'm seeing two for three for Zapdos. So do Zapdos. Zapdos is for sure in. Oh, four. Number four. Right here. Okay, so Zapdos is for sure in. Ouch, and it's paired up against Waylord Stall. <laughs> hey, they wanted Waylord Stall in this thing. And. Ouch. That's rough for Zapdos there. I feel sorry for it. Okay. I have a look through here. Just read them out. Okay. Did Chase, did you ever let me know? I see Zorak, Chase, but which which Zorak? Okay, we've got Beast is saying Buzzrock, Lost Mark, Zapdos, Zorak, Bisharp, so then we have Zorak, Zapdos, Lost Mark, Zorak. There's two for Zorak. No, that's three, two, two for Zork. Which is Zork, though? Zork. <laughs> that those are and Lost March plus Zork. Okay, I'm seeing another Zork. Almost the 20 people. That's pretty cool, actually. I see three for Zork. Spicy, Caden. Huh? You voted? It's another Caden. Caden Britain. Oh. <laughs> he voted for Zara. <laughs> yeah, you. You're like, huh? How'd I vote? <laughs> so Spicy Caden and um, where was the other? Lightning. Lightning said Zora. So that's three for Zora. Number four, we already have a four. Number one, three. It's against Jolteon? I guess so. All right. What about the love for 
Buzzwall. Or Guardy. Wow, there's no Guardy fans in here. Honestly, I'd vote for Buzzwall. People are tired of seeing Buzzwall. Nerdy Bear. But I like this Buzzwall. It's Okay. And this one, honestly. But I'm seeing two for Zork Bisharp. Oh. Okay. Three. Three. Okay. So There's three for Zork Bisharp. Same person or different person? Um people's phen- phenomenal said Zork Bisharp. B said Zork Bisharp and FX. Okay. Said Zork Bisharp. One. Well you keep reading while I flip. Two. It's up against Blaze Fawn. Oh, we saw that matchup already. We can always do a quick switch. We 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 saw that matchup in the first tournament. Do y'all want to roll it again or fair is fair? We can have it play against Sogaleo or Blaze Fawn. Is that the only two spots? Mm-hmm. Rullian. Well, there's only two <laughs> spots, so we'll put it against Sogaleo then, folks. Because we saw uh, Zork Bisharp against Blitzfone. All right. Comes down to this. I say the vote's clear, and then on the back of it, let me see. Give it. Jimmy. What? All right. Buzz, like and wrong. G D Z L M B N. All right, so okay, so you go down and then I'll tally. Okay, let's start. The first to three wins. Let's start from right now. The first to three wins on the decks that are here. This is for the last spot. Let's go. Mark gets that. Go. Lost March. Hardy. Oh. Lost March. Oh, Buzzwall. Which one? G. What? I don't. What? Guardy. Lost March. Lost March. Scraps got the last Lost March. What right? was the Buzzwall one? <laughs> it didn't matter. Lost March. They're still voting blue. Like, no. Uh, yeah, screw. We can keep going. Everybody wins Lost March. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's up against Blaze Fun, though, folks. <laughs> Do you still want to see Lost March? Guardy, Buzz Rock. And that's three for Guardy. Buzz Rock. I was, well, no, no, that was the same vote. Sorry. Hmm. Well, you said first to three, and Lost March was clearly first to three. Take back. <laughs> no, it's in. That's 50 50 match. I know it is. It could be hard for Blaze Fawn. All right. I think we have it. Lost March. So that leaves Decidui, Buzz Ninetales, Guardy, and wow, no love for Buzzwall, folks. No yeah, love. It's a tiny bit. We got people one are just tired of seeing it. Buzzwall, Ninetales, and two for Buzz, Mike, and Rock. No one wanted Decidui Zorg. I honestly think, though, going into the uh, next format, next meta. Fighting is going to no. take a back seat. So, did you write it in or you want me to? I already wrote it in. Okay. So, walk around like that. here we are, folks. Now, who you got picking to win? Okay. Here we go. I like this part. Hmm. <laughs> who do you have? I know who I'm picking. You're choosing Charizard to win the whole thing. I've got Charizard, so you can only put you can put Poke Dad on Charizard. You got circles, I got stars. My second pick, so we pick one on this side, and then we pick one on this side, right? Um if Zorak Bezos is against Aerodactyl, I think Aerodactyl wins that. Hmm. If it meets Malamar Willard's out. But Sogaleo. I know what I'm going for. Can can Snorlax one-shot the Sogaleo? 
if I add quick choice bands into it, then it sure can. Oh, uh, you can't do that. <laughs> That's cheating. This side's harder to pick. Screw it. Of course. Yeah, it let me here. down last time. <laughs> All right. Um, put me as an ultra necrozma. Okay. For that side. Okay. Oh. So, <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Did it wrong. Why? You, <laughs> you screwed up your own system there, nerd. All right. There we go. You're the circles. I'm the star. <laughs> now I got to choose for over here. Uh, Why you choose? I'm going to put these decks up. Okay. You go for that. Hmm. What? I think this side is harder. The one over here? Because I'm not trying to choose Charizard because that's actually a good pick. Uh, Charizard is legit, folks. I'm telling you. It's really, really good. Okay. This is going to seem weird, but you know what? I'm just going to let me go for Lost March, but I don't want to play it. You can play Lost March. I see where you're going there because uh, I think Lost March could beat the Charizard. Mm -hmm. So I see what you're doing there. But I don't want to play Lost March. You might. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> well, I'm not going to. <laughs> Flareon is definitely the underdog, and there's no water in the tournament. Yeah, so there is. Well, <laughs> nothing that's going to knock it out. I know. I I was thinking about between Flareon and Lost March, but, I mean, once Flareon goes against Charizard, then... We need to add energy, recyc uh, energy recycler to that. Yeah, once it goes against the Charizard, I don't think it's going to win. Oh, against Flareon versus Charizard? Charizard uh, is going to destroy it. Mm-hmm. That's why I didn't pick it. And I think Lost March. The only thing that really thing. beats the Charizard is like Aerodactyl, Lost March, the other one prize attack decks. Yep. Because it's more. Well, there's Gyarados for one. All right. So, what do y'all think? What, what do y'all think is going to. Uh... Wait, you want me to tally this one up too? Put all 20 decks? But I don't know. Let's see. This might just be interesting to see. What? Get a fresh sheet and see what everybody thinks? That or we could do like our outro. And then once we do like the whole video, just cut it there. And then like this will be the behind the scenes for y'all sticking with us through the whole thing. What? What? <laughs> what are you even talking about? So we do our outro, right? And then... Once we're done with that, we do like this can be the behind the scenes. Oh, I so got you. Stops. So you'll cut it and no one will see it. Mm -hmm. So this part that we're talking about right now, we'll just cut that out. Hey there. <laughs> hey, dark. <laughs> cut it out and then uh, this can be like behind the scenes. Okay. So, right. so we're going to do an outro, but don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere, folks. Okay. So that's it for the sitting and bracket. Um, so till round one, game one, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. Okay. All right, now for behind the scenes. Okay. So you want to get a fresh or the old tournament? Grab that. We're grabbing an old sheet. Where are we gonna need no, that? No, no, for? no! Don't leave, James. Don't leave. Don't leave. <laughs> don't leave. We're gonna cut it. We're still. We're still here. Okay. So, do it. L. We're going to have everyone vote. Stop moving it. What? I'm trying to look at it. We're going to get everyone's pick on. Oh, you got to go? Oh. <laughs> okay, then <laughs> you can go. Well, the boss lady's calling for him. So, yeah, probably best if you go answer. Oh, okay. Dancing Bear's going to. Uh, 
write down all the decks, and then y'all are going to go through and tell us what you think from each side, what you have picked uh, as winning. Wow, I forgot about Venusaur. I didn't. But we saw Charizard take down Venusaur, right? Even with the weakness policy. Mm -hmm. Right. March Madness in January, right? All right, I'm nearly done. Blaze, Char, Zek. Okay, you got them? So we'll just do, we'll keep it simple. You go down one, this side first, folks, and let us know, let us know on this side which one you have. Please don't vote multiple times. No. <laughs> I get confusing. So go down, th just pick uh, one deck from this side that you think uh, could possibly, that'll make it to the final. Oh, you got a reverse... Deluge Blastoise, nice. Okay, vote for Zekker on there. Thank you, FX. It is marked down. Lightning with the Charizard pick. He's on board with Pope Dad. Mm. It is marked down. Beast has lost March. Marked it down. Come on, folks. James has Jolteon. Very solid. Consistent. Very consistent. Is that another for Jolteon? Another for Jolteon with Dark. <laughs> Spicy, you're being quiet. Wade. Okay, Jeremy with the Charizard. He's on board with Pope Dad. I mean, it's not that bad of a pick. It's a good pick. Just, I'm not going to choose the same deck you choose. The Zor, we have a, a question from Luke. Spicy's got Jolteon. Luke asked, does Zorak play a Rangaroo? Resource management. Resource management, I'm assuming there, Luke. Okay, we have the Paralyzing Gaze. Never, never mind the Paralyzing Gaze. Y'all just disregard <laughs> that. <laughs> Yeah, he's saying resource management. No, but we can. No, but we can't add it if, if that's a special request. We're all about special requests, aren't we? Yes. Well, I promise we'll add the Orangaroo if uh, that's what you want. Another Charizard. Pikaquaza with the Charizard. See, lots of love for the Char. I mean, it is one of the most popular Pokemon. Yeah, but people know how strong it is, I think. It took them enough time to make an actually good one. The last good one was the EX that did wing attack. Mm-hmm. That one was... I enjoyed that one. Okay, FX likes the idea of uh, resource management in the Zora run. Okay. We will definitely add it. Is Promise. that your pick? <laughs> well, they keep asking about it, but they don't, they're not picking Zora <laughs> Luke's. We'll, we'll put the guru in. So if we put the Oranguru in, do you want uh, Zorok? Another one. How many Drachi and Zapdos in Jolteon? I think there's three and three. But it can consistently start with them. No, the Jolteon has a 4-3. Jolteon has a 4-3, and then uh, it has... Is that a, one for Zorark? And I, I think it has three Drachi. Does, is that one for Zorark? Yeah, Zorark. Okay. I think it just has two Zapdos in Jolteon. Three Drachi, two Zapdos. Is that and another no. one for Zorak? No, that's uh, Luke voting for Zorak. So do we have everything? We've got... Yeah, there's one for Luke, and then one... Oh, same person. Okay. 
So I guess that's it on the uh, voting. How many for that sheet? Now, what about this sheet? What do y'all got? Latios, Aerodactyls, Zorobees, Gyarados, Ultra Necrozma, Waylord, Zapdos, Bisharp, Sogaleo, Snorlax, Malamar. Another for Zorok. Okay, yeah. Spices with Zorok. Okay, so three for Charizard, one for Sekrom, three for Jolteon, two for Zorok, and the one Lost March. Dark Sand Whales. It, the, the problem is if it hits Malamar, dark. Is that another one for whales? Um, yes, it is uh, whale or stall. But like I said, it's it's in the uh, bracket with Malamar. So uh, Jeremy's got Latios. Yeah, I marked it down. One for arrow. Aerodactyl, nice. Um, oh yeah, that's what you do. That could be solid. It can't one shot the Latios. It can sure two shot it. Yeah, it for sure is two shots. So I mean, still one of the pressures. Luke's got ultra. He's with me. <clears throat> yeah, we don't have you down, James, as a uh, waylord. So that's three for well. James, James votes uh, air doctor two. And then you got down three for Willer. The uh, hang on. Thank you. FX. That's the Sogaleo deck. Were you here with us? Uh, was it last night? We built it. It has two of the ultra roads, two of the uh, recharge for the DCE where you get energy out of the discard. And, and it no has weakness. one prism. All Pokemon have no weak. Weakness. And it has two Delmize. Lightning has uh, Ultra Necrozma. Do we run Naganadal and Quagsire and what? Someone for Sogaleo? Oh, uh, yep, FX has got Sogaleo. So you, did you get that down? Do we run what, Jeremy? The Latios? No, it has a Starmie. It has the Starmie where you get the attack off and you accelerate three energy. You've got Brilliant Force to grab the water energy, and then it's pretty much self-sustaining uh, from there with the uh, GX attack. Gaining protection and accelerating three from the discard or four from the five, five, five from the discard. Yeah, it's self sustaining. We got another vote for Latios, Jeremy, and Spicy. So that's two votes for Latios. Okay. Cool with that. All right. So, yeah. 21 votes. Absolutely. So, when do we want to get this uh, round one started here? Right now? Do we want to do a round one? Or not? What would round one be? Jolteon versus uh, Zorak. Or we could do Latios versus Aerodactyl. No, we're going to start with Jolteon versus the Rock. Then we'd have to add the Orangaroo. I think you just save till later. Okay, so we'll do round one tomorrow night. We'll go live. We'll go live, folks, with uh, round one. Do you want to do the tournament live like this, or do you want to just make videos? Um... I'd ask them. Okay, what do you what do you what do y'all want us to do? Do y'all want us to do the tournament kind of live each uh match? 
Or do you want us to kind of make videos and post videos like we do? Which would y'all prefer? Why not both, right? The meme with the little girl. Why can't we have both? <laughs> funny. Pretty funny. Live. Depends on the time. Live, do adios. What time does work best for everyone? What time works best for everybody? What? Eight o'clock? Does eight o'clock work for everybody? Live this time. Yeah, it's eight. It's eight thirty-four central. Based the same videos. We could do. We could do some videos and some live. No mix match. That makes everybody happy, right? Okay. Last question. Do you want to do the whole tournament single elimination or best of three? get why you do that with papers. You know what I'm going to do? What are you doing? I said I'm going to put them all in the deck boxes. Oh. Best of three, single. We have a vote for single. Either is fine. Best of three, best of three, best of three. I like the single, single until best the... Best of three. I prefer the single best until we three. get to the top eight. Okay, so... My problem with that is uh, in the past two tournaments, some really good decks just had really bad draw. But that goes into the consistency of the deck, too. True. Single until top eight. I like that. Best of three, best of three, best of three. There's one. So... I'm seeing a ton of best of three. Single, okay, yeah. See, that's what we were thinking. More like a uh, a league cup where it's single until the top eight is kind of like what we're going for. Because this is kind of typical of like what you would see at a cup. You'd see all sorts of different decks, you know? <laughs> Maybe not this much variety. No, but... Yeah, not this kind of variety, but I mean... You telling me that there's not going to be twenty different decks at a cup? Yeah, there would be. You may not play them. Single to top eight, like a cup. Yeah, I think everyone's cool with that, right? Single till top eight. Okay, I'm not going to complain. Which deck are y'all most excited to see? I think everyone's excited to see Charizard. I mean, there was three votes for it. Charizard's gonna wreck shop, folks. Next is so cool. All you see in a cup is Zora. That that's gonna change. Especially for expanded. That is gonna change because of this guy right here. He can be teched into a lot of different decks. Almost anything with DCE can tech one of him, and Zork has no answer for him whatsoever. It's four energy. Give me those two prizes. And and they can't even two shot him, right? Every time I think about Snorlax, I just think of Well, they sh they can two shot him, but I think about still. Andrew Mahone. There he was like showing advertisements for the cards and oh, stuff. Oh yeah, the reading. He would throw up a Snorlax and said, This Snorlax, a tag team, has 270 HP and it can one shot a Zork. It Along was, with a guard for him. It was like an advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> like he was trying to sell us on Snow Axe. This Wellord has 300 HP. What Charizard build? Um, we featured it on the channel a couple different times, right? Even profiled it. It's, I guarantee it's not like anything you've ever seen, Luke. So what? Because there is not a single professor's elm. The engine, that little guy. That's all you need. You mean the Charizard, please? It doesn't run Elm. Elm is safer, but it's a lot slower.
your boy Andy. I guess I'm. Who? There are girls with hats. <laughs> oh, Andrew Mahone, right? No, it was funny because we're actually friends with him. Uh, it was just funny. He was it sounded like it was an advertisement. He was trying to sell us on the greatness of Snorlax. It was just funny. We're not hacking on him. It was just funny. No. We don't like try to roast on other channels. That's worried about Charizard setup if someone has muck. Well, I think the only deck that has muck is Party Bloom. Yep. And where's it in the bracket? Far. Is it far away from? Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. It's pretty far. Now, getting back my papers. It's in the same bracket as Charizard. <laughs> Uh oh, man! Now I lost where I was at. But Blaze One has a hard. Incineroar is not an auto win. Neither is Lost March. Yeah, that's true. He is trying to sell them at full grip games. Very good point. Best card in team up. I like Snorlax. The Drachi. That's not in team up. That's in Dark Order. It's. Just... All part of team upset. Oh, doofus. I'm still gonna stick with my answer. Drachi is really, yes, yes, it's by far one of the best cards. Okay. Is it the best card? I don't think so. Oh, put it up. I think you can make an argument for Snorlax because it completely pushes out Zorak out of the meta. I think you can make an argument for Jolteon. Zapdos, Brilliant Forest. I think those kind of stand out as like tier one cards. And the Venusaur Celebi, which, wow. We need to go back and do a video on after playing the tag team cards a lot. We need to re-rank them. Like, get rid of, uh, what was it? Gengar needs to yep. be dead last. Spoiler alert. You think Zapdos is best? No. Um, you're, you're, uh, okay, here's the problem with Zapdos. Is you have to think about, like, when it was dominating Japan, it was before tag team. Because remember, they have smaller sets that come out, like, each month. Leading up to, like, the tag team. So it had, like, uh, the Dark Order, and then it had like that with that fairy, that fairy set that came out. I don't know. Not Fairy Rise, but there was something. There was like Dark Order, Fairy, not Fairy Rise. I don't know. There was Dark Order, something else, and then the tag team. And Zapdos dominated that month and then the next month, but then when the tag team came out, then you saw Jolteon and stuff dominate. So the problem is, is reaching some of these higher HP tag teams from what we've found. Alolan, we tried that, Jeremy, and we actually have a video of it. Sounds completely awesome in theory. Gotta give it the thumbs down. Did not work. Extremely underwhelming, right? Yeah, definitely. Was. The dark muck trash yeah. lanch. Very, very underwhelming. What else we got? You think you should have thought better about the GX name? GX name. Which GX name? I don't. Is a Gengar tag team in the Ultra and the Cosma? No. No FX. There is no Gengar. It is dead to me. It's dead to me until that surprise box item comes out in Dark Unison. And at that point, then I'll pull it from the uh, grave. I think it stays in the grave. No. 
Gengar, and that's what's disappointing, is it actually has one of the best GX attacks. It just, the, it's too easy for your opponent to play around their damage output is the problem. Especially with Reinforce, because you can just discard a trainer card and then search for an energy that you can use for next turn, this turn, or just have it in hand. Okay, so it was, in Japan, it was Ultra Shiny... Yeah. Thunder Clamp. Dark Order. So it was in Super Burst Impact, maybe? I think it was... Did it come out in Dark Order, or... I think it came out in Dark Order. And so it dominated Dark Order, and then it dominated Ultra Shiny... And then SM8, which was their tag team Pokemon, came out. And you you no longer see the actual Zapdos deck. It's now a support Pokemon inside Jolteon is what happened there. Horror House. What is... I don't know. Dark said to say Horror House fast. Horror House. I don't get it. I think it's like saying. I think I'm too old. I'm I'm probably too old for the joke. I think it's like saying apple while sticking out your tongue. Oh. Which tag team decks will perform the best once team up releases? I think Snorlax is by far the most versatile. It can fit into a multitude of decks, and it is a evolution destroyer except for stuff like Charizard and Aerodactyl. Yeah. Which the, the one prize Pokemon decks that can do a ton of damage, even probably Lost March, if they're not playing uh, like Coco, stuff like that. But as a deck, as a deck, the tag teams. Which one's my favorite? Which one's strongest? Um... I think you can make an argument for quite a lot of them, honestly. I think you can make an argument for Snorlax Malamar. I think it's the best. I think you can make an argument for uh, Zekrom Pikachu. Because fighting, I don't see fighting being as big. Fighting is going to get pushed out. Jolteon is a lot faster than Buzzwall. I know that's crazy and hard to believe, but it is. I don't believe it. Whatever you've seen. There's been plenty of evidence to show Jolteon's more aggressive than Buzzwall. Uh, Zekrom Pikachu, Snorlax Malamar, and then Venusaur Celebi, folks. Not Latios? No. I, th I think the other three are a, are a step above Latios. I think Latios is still good, just it's a, a little it, better. It's a tag team killer. Think of, like, Snorlax... Which I think a deck combining Snorlax and Latios could be super good because they cover each other's weakness. Latios effectively deals with the big basic tag teams. It's the tag team killer of the set. Snorlax is the evolution killer of the set. So they can cover each other's weakness where Latios doesn't have to spend that energy to knock out evolutions. You just go heavy with Snorlax. So I think yeah. I think there's something there to uh, have Snorlax and Latios together. Yeah. That's Which that could be a tech we add for the Latios deck if you want Dancing Bear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us, FX. Um, it's been fun, dude. Catch you later. See you. But Gengar's definitely the weakest. Are we missing one? There's six. Well, Lord, that's the one oh. we didn't mention. It's good. It's good, but... Um, it has to be its own archetype. As a stall deck, it's good, but here's the problem is uh, Malamar's going to be played, and Naganadal's going to be played. So that automatically drops it below some of the others, I think. You put it as your favorite. No, I didn't. 
Uh, the only reason why we put it at number two is it's because you said, I really like Stall. It's going to be good. I think it is and that good. That was your favorite card. I said, no, no, I like, mm. I like Snorlax. I don't know. All right, well, that's all we got for tonight, folks. It's getting late. I saw I'm going to eat dinner. Eating dinner, eat dinner, however you want to say it. I'm starving. Um, eat it. Tomorrow night, round one, game one, right? Yeah. We'll uh, maybe do one live, and then we can do another one video and kind of alternate or something. Yeah. We'll figure that part out. So, till next time, we'll see y'all later, and thanks for hanging out with us. It's been fun. Uh, oh, no problem, Beast. I'm glad you enjoy it. Yeah. I'm glad you enjoy it. Absolutely. So, Y'all have a good rest of the evening and be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. Later, guys. See you. Bye.